I'm a simple guy. I like to keep it simple. And I like to try not to hit my head on stuff. Hey there, bike blogger here. On my way home from work. Tonight I wanted to talk about my computer. Computer says I'm going 20.2 miles per hour right now. Puh, bug. Uh, not exactly sure which way I want to go today. Um, okay. My bike computer is a Sigma. BC 509 very simple bike computer it uh just does speed trip distance it has an odometer which by the way you lose your odometer stats if you uh I didn't really want to go this way now I'm just thinking about this but uh yeah you Lose your odometer stats if you take the battery out, so don't take the battery out. Um, that's really the only negative. It has, uh, I say, I said speed. Um, watching for traffic here. It has speed. Uh, well, let's look at it here. Speed, uh, total time spent riding, riding time. It has an odometer, like I said, and it's got a clock. So right now it's telling me it's 7.30 p.m. And I have ridden 20 miles so far today. A uh, total ride time of one hour, 25 minutes. Um, so you can figure out average speed from that, but odometer and, oh, okay, I gotta cover the brakes here. All right, I've been here before. Uh, I can't really get on the can't really get on the thing here to make it change. I gotta back up so I can't really see it because uh, you gotta put your tire on one of these uh, magnetic strips in the ground and uh, another good spot to hit it is up there in front of the white line, the solid white line. Uh, but I can't see the signal. I can't see the, the traffic signal. It's like red now. And it'll turn green when I can go here. Green means go. Um, so yeah, I really like this computer, the Sigma BC509. Unfortunately, it's been discontinued. However, there is a new version, the 5.12, I think. Bike computer by Sigma. You could almost treat this, this section of road like a like a yield because I mean that bicycle just made a U-turn he's probably going to the Greenway trail which is where I'm going or maybe he's going to work or maybe he's gonna go buy something so any minute now so I really like this computer it cost me like I don't know 17 bucks <laughs> less than 20 bucks very simple like I said it's a wired computer so it uh, it, it mounts uh, on my fork and a wire goes down from the mounting dock on the stem here and it uh, it's really easy to install Sigma has a really good installation video on it
I feel tempted to move forward a little here. Why this thing is not changing for me. I'll move forward to let the guy behind me, he's in a car, see if he can change the light. Now this has got to be the longest light I've ever waited at. Let's see, like I said, I have a little clock here. I'll give it another minute. Oh wait, there we go. There we go. Alright. I think, uh, I think that light just was not detecting my bicycle, so... I have to remember that. Because, uh... I just have to remember that doesn't even work, so in the future, they just tore down a McDonald's to my left there. Ugh. In the future, I gotta remember that, so I'm just gonna probably, uh, probably just go through that red light in the future. Bad light, bad light. Bad traffic engineers, bad traffic engineers. Why didn't that light change for me? <clears throat> oh yeah, last time I was down here, I, uh, <laughs> I went through a flooded out zone and uh, got really wet. Hopefully, the uh, flood has subsided. I'm not going to ride my road bike through a deep puddle of water. So if there's water down there, I'm gonna if there's deep water down there still, I'm going to turn around. Wow, that light was forever! What the hell? <laughs> oh, man. The rule is that uh, if it doesn't change for you after like a two minutes or 120 seconds, you, have the r you don't have the right of way, but you can treat it as a stop sign and go when it's clear. And I might have waited just about two minutes, maybe, maybe more, I don't know does feel like an eternity though. I think after about two minutes though uh, a car pulled or a truck pulled up behind me so I figured oh well he'll be able to change it for me uh, and I, I think he was trying to give me space or something I don't think he was able to I don't think he pulled up far enough though to get on top of the wire strip in the ground so it just wasn't changing so that's when I decided to move forward a little bit so he could try and change it, hopefully. And uh, I think he did move for roll a little forward and it did change then. Initially, I wasn't gonna get in the wire strip at the very front past the solid bar on the ground, but, uh, cause I couldn't really see the lights so well. But I guess I'm just gonna have to do that in the future. Live and learn. Live and learn. It's almost dinner time. Wow, okay, so we're off topic here. Sigma BC509, I love this computer. Really simple to use. Um, I'm a simple guy. I like to keep it simple. And I like to try not to hit my head on stuff. <laughs> I hit my head a little bit on some uh, tree limbs back there. I ride a single speed bicycle. I don't use a heart rate monitor or any of that. Hey there. Hi. Go left. I, uh, I don't have any way of measuring like my cadence. I don't, uh, uh, what else? 
I'm gonna go up further north here or further south actually I think I'm going south um, I don't have any way to measure my power output in watts I don't use a power meter I don't use a cadence meter I just ride a single speed bike you can sort of figure that stuff out anyway basically it's a linear function almost I think you know how hard I'm working versus how fast I'm spinning versus you know how fast I'm going for instance right now ugh, I'm going 13 0.8 miles per hour. I'm going pretty slow. For me at least. <laughs> Taking it easy here. Heart rate is a little difficult though. Because uh, that isn't a linear function really. That does sort of bounce around. Um, but you know. It's not a big deal to me. I don't really care. I sort of just let my body tell me when I've had enough. It's hard though, because some things may not be perfectly balanced with other things, like you may have strong leg muscles, sort of like me, but you know, I also have pretty good lungs and if I were to say which would wear out first if I went on a long, a long ride, I'd probably say my legs would wear out first before my lungs. Um, but <clears throat> if you're going on a long ride, you want to stop occasionally and stretch anyway. So I could probably ride for a really long time, but. I'd have to get off and stretch like anybody else. Sort of quiet right now. Uh, I didn't know which way I wanted to go. We're gonna get on the big road, here we go. Speeding it up a little down the curve. Around the curve here, 27 miles per hour. Nice and easy, just coasting. And we'll make a right here. So yeah, Sigma BC509. I've done other videos about this computer. Just someone asked, what bike computer do I use? And uh, oh, that's the bike computer I use. So there you go. It's getting a little late. I probably should have my rear light on. I got to get better at that. I haven't been doing it. 22 miles per hour. I need to get over here soon. It's a car coming up on the left. I'm trying to anticipate driver's uh, driver's speed it can be a little difficult. All right. Woo! All right. That was a little scary back there. I was hidden behind a bus because uh, the bus has to stop at a railroad track. It was sort of a sort of a special circumstance. Yeah, you're not really supposed to drive or ride in a turning lane like that. I don't even know if they got turning lanes in in Europe, but they have them all over the place in the U.S. And yeah, you're really only supposed to get in the lane to turn not to ride in uh, so yeah it can be dangerous but that was a extreme circumstance there because I was just the worst timing the the bus was uh let's make a right climb the bus was uh just stopping there in front of the railroad tracks because it's a law or whatever and uh 
16 miles per hour, going up a steeper grade, down to 13 miles per hour. And uh, now it flattens out. And um, I was worried because the guy on my left it was like a pickup truck. He didn't have a he didn't have a signal on, and as it turns out, he was just making a right, so he wasn't gonna conflict with me. And uh, make a left here when it's safe. But I was a little scared because I was hidden behind that bus. There we go. And uh, I was a little worried, you know. Was he going to come out? And it was hard to keep focus on other traffic. So, make a right here. Oh boy. Look at that. What's going on over there? I'm not looking with the camera caught whatever was going on over there. Maybe one, maybe somebody ate one too many hot dogs. Shouldn't make a joke about something like that. Um. Yeah, so the lesson, the lesson here in this video, I just wanna, I always like to share these things and I like to point out when I do make mistakes on the road. So I make a lot of them and like a lot of things in life, traffic is all about negotiation, not necessarily about what is legal or what is not legal. Because what is legal can get you in just as much trouble as what is illegal or whatever. So, the lesson here is just take your time, <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Over the train tracks, always cross train tracks at a perpendicular angle. <laughs>